hi there so in this video I'm going to show you how you can enter text into text field with the help of Vatir web driver so I have this google.com web page open and as you can see it has this search box and we are going to add text into this search box so for that let's inspect this element right click and then simply click on inspect element and find the ID or name of this search box as you can see it will show you the input named LST dash IB so the ID is LST dash IB so we are going to use that in our code simply open your text editor type in require water dash web driver then create browser variable that navigates to google.com but before that create a browser instance by typing in what here double colon browser dot new now type in browser dot go to then go to google.com after that we are going to create one variable named text then call browser to check for text field and then it should check for id lst dash ib and then it also needs to check whether that field exists or not now that that is checked we can go for let's say sending our keyword which is let's say what here or selenium so i'm sending this what here or selenium keyword into google search so it should show you the results on that result page now simply go for text dot value if you want to collect that value from your console simply type in text dot value and you can also use put s if you want but let's leave it for now and then go to your command prompt and type in ruby demo dot rb Now this opens Firefox browser instance and it should navigate you to the Google web page and then it should search for water or selenium keyword okay so if you just stick with it it should show you this result page okay you can also perform additional tests to this for example after some time you want to clear the text area in such case simply use set and keep this one blank so that it will clear that text area and then add some another keyword like say Firefox new version so any other text if you want and search for that have a bit delay if you want and you can perform multiple tests like this for sending some text to text box if you have google form then you can also use the same procedure to sending your text to that form